and here's the IMX6 Solo X here, the Freescale booth. So, who are you? Uh, my name is John Dixon, I run the global marketing teams for Freescale. And uh, I'll give you a quick two seconds about the IMX6 Solo. So you just launched today? This is the 24th of February and we're just last year, we're just launching it in about probably about two hours. So you're getting a good preview of what's about to come. So uh, this is a new, uh, a new SOC optimized for specific, specific markets? Yes. Uh, it's actually, there's a large variety of markets it's actually been designed for. And I think the uniqueness of it is that you have a Cortex A9 plus an M4. So you have the capability of running two different OSs at the same time. Some of the benefits of having the heterogeneous processing is you can have a proprietary OS like MQX running on one of the M4 core, as well as running Linux or Android on the uh, Cortex A9. So you have that capability of really partitioning both different devices uh, with two completely different OSs. And obviously from a security standpoint, you're able to completely um, segregate each different um, security functions into the M4 or in the A9 and have that completely separate from the other core. So a lot of great benefits for things like point of sale, a lot of great benefits for anything that needs high levels of security. And power consumption is good? And of course the power consumption is good because you have the M4 that has the capability of actually managing the power of the system. So you can turn on and off the A9, which is usually the more power hungry device. And the M4 itself then can actually run some low level processing capability or some processing functions. Um, and then to bring up the A9 when it needs some hardcore processing like graphics, like any kind of really application processing. And the embedded world is perfect place to launch the oh, yeah. processor. Yeah. Yeah. This is the market right this here. This is the market. We have a large number of our customers as well as our third parties. Uh, every year for us, this is a great, a great show and we'll continue to come here. Um, it generates a lot of good business and a lot of good buzz for, uh, for our products and our, our company in the marketplace. So who are you? Hi, I'm Ricardo Anguiano. I'm a technical marketing engineer for Mentor Graphics. I'm here with, uh, with the Freescale booth and we're showing off the Mentor Embedded Multicore Framework. So as John mentioned, there's an A9 and an M4 on this, on this board. And so what Mentor does is it makes it possible to run two different types of OSs on this board. Uh, so on the A core, we have a, a Linux solution. And then on the M M4, we have a Nucleus real-time operating system. This is a small footprint, uh, power efficient. Uh, RTOS has been deployed on over 3 billion devices. And so what we have here today is a patient monitoring application where the, uh, the patient data comes from the M4 uh, running on that chip, simulated patient. We don't actually have a patient here today, clearly. Um, and so when we hit this button here, uh, the stop button, what's happening is that you shut off the M4 and uh, you've shut off the Nucleus component. So now we've flatlined uh, the, the display because we're no longer running uh, the Nucleus OS. You can see there's uh, low power applications here where you know, instead of shutting off the M4, you can imagine you're running normally on the M4, like he said, and you shut off the A core instead. And so this allows you to manage your power intelligently. All right, so this is a development board right here with the, with the Solo, Solo X right here. And uh, so you've been able to make all this work already? Yes. So how, 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 how do you work? How does it work at Mentor Embedded? Mentor so, Embedded. So, so I mean, clearly we're partners with Freescale and we had access to the Solo X, uh, you know, before announcement. Even before it was taped out? Um, Even before uh, to design the chip or wh where are you based? We'd have to have a discussion with the, the EDA folks, but I mean, we do have, uh, you know, we're, we're a well-known electronic design automation firm, so. And software, so, getting the software to work. That's right, yeah. So we do pre-silicon uh, software design solutions as well in our Veloce line and in our um, Vista modeling line. So, so yeah, you can, you can develop software before tape out. So this is a heterogeneous software, right? That's right. This is a, uh, is it going to be automatic for the, the developers to get on the, on the M core and on the A core automatically? Or do you have to add some stuff in the software to be able to tell stuff to go on one or the other? So is that the there's really two pieces to this. The multi-core framework does um, application, sorry, um, processor lifecycle management, and it also does uh, uh, inter-processor communication, right? So you take control of the remote core, you do power events on it, you load a different firmware on there. Um, that's the lifecycle management portion of it. The second part of it is the uh, communication layer. So you can establish communication between the two uh, operating systems. All right. So, and uh, the, the communication is uh, already fully set up, or there's right. a lot of things that can still be developed in the way that it works? 
Well, it's a it's a high performance solution, and we make sure to you know pr provide all the APIs you need to to marshal messages across the two OS boundaries there. And so people can start using this as soon as the SOC is available. That's right. The software is ready, or That's you right. have a bunch of things to do more. No, it's ready. It's ready. It's ready. Today. Yeah. All right. And uh, this, what kind of Linux are you using? So this is a Mentor Embedded Linux. It's based on the Yocto project. If you're familiar, familiar with the, the Linux Foundation's Yocto project, right, this is a, the idea is to make it easy to get uh, embedded Linux onto uh, a variety of SOCs. So this is our commercially supported version of the Yocto project. And it's very framework. optimized. Uh, it's, uh, it's very fast. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's smooth. You don't. You don't need to do Android stuff right here. You don't need to. You can. I mean, we're we we, we provide such uh, flexible solutions uh, to our customers. So if if your solution calls for an Android component in our the framework, then that's fine. We can make that happen. Cool. So there it is, and this is your presentation right here. Uh, Solo X, Artas, and, and uh, everything's here.